This is the Ari Alexa, a very huge camera which you see mostly on Hollywood sets. Why would people want to punish themselves by using such a big camera on set? Why would Hollywood be doing this whilst there are other smaller cameras out there? The answer, believe it or not, is very simple. It's all about the image. The image is supreme. The image is king. They prioritize the image more than any other thing on the market. Now, what does this have to do with a cinema camera under $1,000? This is a preamble to this video. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video to actually understand or to fully grasp the preamble of this video. A modular body, a rigable body, professional button layout, an interchangeable lens camera, all for under $1,000. This sounds good to be true, right? However, this is actually true with the Sony NEX FX100. Just sit back, relax as I take you through why this camera is actually still a very relevant camera, especially if you're just trying to get your very first cinema camera. The FX100 has been around for so many years now. We actually bought it just under a year when it was released, and we've actually had it for close to about seven years now. And I can tell you for a fact that this camera is still as relevant as it was when it was released back then somewhere around 2011, 2000. 2012. For those of you who follow this channel, we know that we actually now have the Blackmagic Pocket 6K in the studio, but we are not getting rid of this anytime soon. And I do predict that even so many years to come, this camera will still be as relevant as it is. Now, when it was first released, this camera cost over $5,000 to $6,000 in most cases. However, this camera has actually depreciated over time. And right now, you can pick this in the used market for as low as $1,000. And that is a cinema camera, guys. For crying out loud, we are not talking about a DSLR here or a mirrorless camera. Now, what is a major advantage of picking something like this up now first of all this is a video camera it is actually built like a tank this is a power horse of a camera in terms of reliability this camera doesn't heat up this camera can record continuously and flawlessly until the battery runs off completely there's nothing like overheating and the batteries are built to last and you can have different variations of the battery you can really have very huge batteries as you can see right here is the battery port and this is actually the sony mpf battery these batteries are virtually everywhere you can pick these batteries up anywhere and if you're like me and if you're already into video production and you even own some video lights these are mostly the kind of batteries that you use to power them apart from the popular v-mount batteries this for me has been one of the most popular options especially among beginner filmmakers because you definitely have bought some lights or something that definitely uses this mpf batteries and so in most cases you can use your light batteries with this particular cinema camera and believe it or not because this is an a thousand dollars you can get this cheaper than some of the latest cameras and because they are latest of course the prices are high but this has really depreciated over time and that is why i would do suggest that you pick this up and also just looking at the body it's actually very weighty not too much very heavy like the black magic awesome mini pro but it's heavy enough to be able to give you that organic handheld shake if you look at handheld shots from normal dslr cameras or let me say mirrorless cameras they are really so light and you can see this micro jitters in them but the weight of this thing actually gives it this kind of organic shakes going on without it showing those micro jitters so this is not too heavy to make you so tired but it is heavy enough to give you that very smooth and very organic handheld shots this camera comes in stock with focus picking, histogram, and all the other professional features that you would require in a cinema camera or a video camera of that particular stature. All this makes this camera a very irresistible package to pick up at this particular point in time. Now, what is the Achilles heel of this camera? Let me take you to the intro of this video when I made mention of the Ari Alexa. Not all 4Ks are created equal. The kind of 4K that a certain camera will produce will certainly be different from another one. Now, sensor size, the bit rate, the color depth at which all these images are recorded or captured counts in the kind of 4K that you make. Hence, the kind of 1080 you pull out of this camera, guys. Resolution, for me, is not a bummer in this particular case. The camera does not shoot in 4K, but the kind of images that you get from this camera, it's mind-blowing. And for those of you post gurus out there, there are instances where I've actually shot 1080 with this camera and I've upscaled or up them into 4K and absolutely no one was able to tell the difference. Now, 
you might argue that probably on a very huge or gigantic screen you might be able to see the difference but in this particular case 4k for me is not really necessary and trust me purely it's not even available in 4k because we shot it on this camera the highest resolution you can get is about 2.5k and that is because when we're about to put this film into the theaters of course you have to generate the cinema package and cinema package automatically would upraise this into 2k because that is what most of the cinema houses out there accept and that is the resolution at which they show their film and so when you use a raptor dcp codec automatically it's going to upraise it from 1080 anyway into 2k so that you'll be able to show it in theaters and so for me at this level picking up this camera and it not shooting in 4k is not really a big deal for me and i always put up this argument now i used to think like just everyone else that 4k is the future 4k is the way to go or higher resolution is the way to go but hear me out recently i was thinking the rate at which technology is improving or the rate at which technology is developing how about if a total new technology comes out that has nothing to do with 4k 8k and probably that new technology might even work better appraising old footage and some of the higher resolution stuff how about if it's a holographic kind of videos that we'll be dealing with in the near future or something totally different something that no engineer in the current world has thought of yet i mean crazy right that is me in my fantasy world but at the end of the day that argument about 4k being the future is beginning to be shaky for me because of this kind of thoughts that i've had recently now i know most of you out here on this channel haven't watched that film purely which we shot in 2015 which won several awards locally and internationally hence i've partnered with the ceo of my company which is obl senior of course to get you guys over 30 percent off all the purchases that you'll be making on our website especially on the purely film because i want you guys to be able to purchase this film watch it come back here and tell me what you think about the image despite the fact that the film was not shot in 4k hence make sure to use the coupon code Africa Amaze at checkout to save yourself over 30% of your money in purchasing the film purely. So make sure to use this very quickly because this is just for a limited period of time. Kindly head off to www.oblstudios.com and make the purchase of purely. Watch the film, come back here, let's get the conversation going on in the comment section below. If you are just discovering this channel, this is the Africa Amaze channel where we talk about cinematography, photography, editing, and all its related branches. If all this sounds interesting, then I would do much appreciate it if you do click on the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on post notification icon so that you get notified anytime I drop awesome content like this on the Africa Amaze channel. If you do have any further questions, you can link me up on Instagram at obl underscore junior or kindly leave me a comment in the comment section below because I personally respond to every single one of your messages. And like always, like we do it on the Africa Amaze channel, guys. Until next time, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.